Johnny Ive design cues show themselves for iOS 7. Steven Elop talks Nokia design but throws an iPhone in the process. And HTC talks about their launch dates for the HTC One. I'm Jaime Rivera, and at the time of this recording, the game had not started yet. This is Pocket Now Daily. How about if we start today with the odd news? And for those of you that remember the bad news that Android 5.0 will not be slated for the Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini because it's an underpowered phone, we've got recent leaked images of a Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini, which will most probably be just as underpowered, and we will most likely not recommend that you buy it specifically for software updates. So, anyways. And for those of you that can't find your way around the annoying sounds made by the Google Talk application and listen to our Pocket Now Weekly podcast for more details on that, we've got leaked images of a new Google messaging service that come to probably replace Google Talk, as it never really took off or it hasn't really been popular and I still can't find a way to send the photo to anybody. But anyways, the problem is that we still don't know any details on when this will happen. It looks kind of intuitive, but it also looks kind of convoluted as well, so stay tuned for whatever happens. And and for how it's called, hopefully not Google Keep Message. Now let's talk about the HTC One. Obviously March 14th went by and the phone did not start selling for obvious issues that we already know about the delays with suppliers and just about everything. But apparently, well, HTC just came clear. We have the phone being sold in the UK and Germany late this month and then we will have it being sold in the United States as of late April. You know, those same dates that the Galaxy S4 is gonna be sold as well. So let's hope that history does not repeat themselves. And I do recommend that if you really want that phone, you make a line because it'll most probably be short, very short because of the high demand. And for those of you wondering how iOS 7 will look by the hands of Jonathan Ive, well, apparently some inside rumors from the Wall Street Journal were already talking about a lot of collaboration happening within Apple because Johnny Ive is a nice guy. Apparently there were a lot of issues with Scott Forstall. And apparently a lot of things were already working. For those of you that didn't know, the podcast application for iOS was recently updated and we do know that Jonathan Ives is not about skewomorphs. He doesn't like stitched leather and stuff like that. And we did notice that this podcast application application is kind of flat everywhere, kind of just, you know, no gimmicky design or anything. So it does seem as if Johnny Ive is already working. Stay tuned. And finally, for the good and bad news of the day, Stephen Elop was recently in an interview with Finnish Television and, well, he was asked a lot of things. First of all, what can we expect on camera quality and build quality? And he obviously showed everything that's going on. We do know that the Lumia has brought a lot of innovation in this camp. And then he was asked about the Nokia Lumia 928, which he dismissed. He didn't comment anything about. But then the Finnish presenter came to him, showed him his iPhone and said, I really want to change this phone for a Lumia. And then Elob was nice enough to just grab the phone from his hand and throw it to the floor and probably smash it. You know how the iPhone is. But, you know, even though we know that Elob was probably joking, he was very nice. This was not done in a bad manner at all. You can see the video. Um, you know, it's kind of weird that he actually just threw the phone to the floor. He almost probably replaced it with a Lumia. But that leads me to the question of the day. How did you find uh, Elop's actions? Did you consider him nice, not nice, good or bad? I mean, I don't really see Tim Cook holding a Lumia on stage and throwing it on the floor. Or Larry Page doing the same from Google. I don't see them doing that. I don't consider what Elop did as ethical, but obviously he did it in a nice manner. So leave us a comment. What's your opinion? Did you like what he do or didn't you? As always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera, and as always, thank you very much for watching. See you Monday.